In this lesson, we will look at how you can set up a great developer experience when working with TypeScript in Node.js. So let's go. You are working on a simple API that is always going to return a payload such that it contains a message of type string. And it's always going to be this hard coded payload whenever there is a get request to your API. To execute this TypeScript code, we have two scripts. One that is going to build the TypeScript and compile it into JavaScript and then a start script that is going to execute that generated JavaScript. So now we can see our API in action. Whenever there is a GET request to this particular endpoint, we get that message payload that we just coded. Now, if we make a modification to our application, for example, add additional content to the message payload, it's not going to live compile and live reload our application and we will still see outdated data when we make additional requests. Now, of course, we can go through the hassle of stopping our application, building it again, and then restarting our server and with this updated application loaded now we see the updated code executing when we make additional requests it would be great if we could just make the change to our server and it would live reload and we would not need to build and start the server again there are lots of ways to do this but we will do it with two simple package installs and zero config so let's take a look the first package that we need is ts node and this will allow us to execute our TypeScript code without having to compile it and the second package that we are going to need is nodemon which is going to monitor our file for any changes and then restart our server for us. TS node will automatically pick up our TS config and nodemon will automatically pick up on TS node when we pass in a TS file. So instead of our start script executing node for index.js, we can execute nodemon for source index.ts. And to start a live dev flow, we execute the script npm start just like we did before but this time it's executing the TypeScript source code and watching it for changes. So currently our API is returning the text like and subscribe, but if we jump to our API and make some modification, for example, add a rose after the message payload, you can see that nodemon is automatically picking up the changes and restarting TS node for source index.ts. So now our server has restarted and we could just make additional requests to see the updated code in action. And that's all for this lesson. Smash that like and subscribe for more quick tips and full tutorials on the JavaScript, TypeScript and Node.js ecosystems. And I will see you in the next one.